Most people in life look at how do I make a life worth living and return with having. I'm puzzled this evening by a note I received from some girl. I have to question whether or not she's being guided by God to say things in a certain way by really trying to listen to her angels of the day, or whether some policeman or some other person is interfering with my rights to relationship. You see, my rights to relationship says you are responsible for your part of our relationship, and I'm responsible for my part of our relationship. And a third party is never welcome in any of my relationships. If you're my actual child or son, then of course you might be interacting with me or with my late spouse at a certain time as a family. But if you're a total stranger to me, if you're a voyeur, if you're a reporter, if you're a recorder, if you're a snoop, if you're an eavesdropper, you're not welcome to me. You see, relationships have a hard enough time getting forward without other people monkeying in them. And I've had enough signs from God in heaven naturally placed on my path when God says, it's time to go now. Whether I was in my fully paid for business vehicle that has been stolen from me by law enforcement, or whether I have been on my own walking when I'm able to go to my next appointment or to move myself so that my mind can plan what's next in my show. I have a lot of ideas, but my ideas are interrelated to two other people. So I am very cautious, usually, and careful about how I recant and retell stories. But none of my stories are not for God's glory. None of my stories are not for teaching people to mind their own business unless they're prepared to own the legal liability of not minding their business.